Ooh, we got time for this one. This is a good one. <laughs> I was I was sleeping in the train station in uh, Am- uh, Copenhagen, and uh, I wasn't taking the train, of course. Uh, but while I was sleeping, someone stole my rucksack. <coughs> Had all my belongings. Right. Uh, passport. Passport, plane ticket, money, everything. I had uh, my sleeping bag and my tent, which I was using for a pillow. Right. So it's a long story, but after uh, two or three hours of going through several stages of grief, <laughs> I, I, had been so hang- I had been hanging out in the Copenhagen train station because I had met this guy two months earlier who told me I could crash at his place when I was coming back from Sweden. And so I... I and he wasn't home, so I went to the train station, figured I'd crash there, and then I uh, was decided to walk back to his place, walked out of the train station, it was about one in the morning, everyone's got backpacks on, 30 feet in front of me is someone, I swear to God, is walking with my backpack. Right. But everyone, and I'm thinking, oh, no, no, you're being hysterical. I right. get right behind that rotten son of a bitch. He had my backpack on because I could see my sleeping bag straps hanging from the bottom. Yeah. So I got up right behind him, grabbed the frame. This is external frame backpack days. Oh, yeah. Uh, my Kelty backpack, which is currently in my garage. I pulled him to the ground and started screaming at him that he had stolen my backpack. Yep. Well, all these people grabbed me thinking I was trying to steal this guy's backpack. The police came. He started telling the police what was in the backpack. Thankfully, as every backpack has a secret pocket, yes, I reached into the secret pocket, pulled out my passport, yep, opened it up in front of him, and said, "Well, look at that, motherfucker!" <laughs> <laughs> and bam, nice. So, that's that's is the greatest story in the world. I'm so glad you. Why would you have not told this story? This well, is great. I, there's a lot of these stories to tell, and uh, and uh, ask any barista at Cafetto, uh, <laughs> and. Uh, it turned out he took my money, which was $40. It turned out uh, Denmark being a civilized country, he had to be in court within 24 hours. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, he said well, he just happened that was his money. He found the backpack in the back. The real funny thing is I had bought a book in Sweden, and I didn't have much money. So I wanted to get the densest book I could buy so I could get my m- money's worth. So I had bought Moby Dick, and I was two chapters away from the first day of the whale. Okay. He had thrown the book out. And so we get in we get in the back of the paddy wagon because I gotta go file a complaint. Yep. And I'm looking through the back, we threw out my stove, my food, and my clothes and everything else. My passport was in there. But I I, I I'm looking and I look over at the guy, he's handcuffed. I look at him and go, Where's my book? <laughs> you threw away my fucking book. <laughs> fucking monster. So then That's I didn't a monster. Have-